Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming. Today we are back in SnowRunner. We will be taking this fuel trailer. Probably, I'm going to guess somewhere around the center of the map here. This this looks probably to be the, the best place to drop it off. Yeah, I, I, I think that's probably the best place. We'll, uh, we'll have to figure it out once we... Uh, scan the radar and get rid of all this darkness. Uh, the, the fog of war, if you will. And yeah, let's go ahead and begin. We also have to do a rescue mission with the dairy, so we gotta get the yard back up. Try to get that upgrade. And, uh, continue scanning with the, uh, the radar, so... It's gonna be a full jam-packed day. So let's get underway. Hey, that rhymes. Alright, uh, we're down five gallons. I'm not gonna bother to fill up. We've got, I don't know, what is it, like 500 behind me? Uh, refuel. We've got 529, yeah, so... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be, uh... short fuel anytime soon. Alright, I think we're gonna take the road... We're gonna take the road down to here and then cut across the ice patch, so... Let's see if I can remember without having to look 20 freaking different times. And uh, yeah, I changed changed the tires back to the mud tires on uh, the dairy just to uh, not really prove a point, but just to see how they handle versus the chains. And uh, I mean, so far they're doing pretty well because we're not even in all-wheel drive yet. This truck is... This truck may be my favorite truck. I, it's it's close to it. It's definitely up there. It's got speed on its side. It's got this ability to, to drive in, in non all wheel drive. I don't want to call it two wheel drive because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we have six wheel drive right now. Uh, it's just the eighth. The front wheels aren't spinning. Uh, this is where not having chain tires kind of sucks, but. We're not really on roads that often, like, so you can you can easily get around it. Um, where do I think I was supposed to go down back there? Let's uh, let's go down this way. I think we'll be okay. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was easy. So this ice here, we're also going to be slipping and sliding, but uh, there really is no bad repercussions of it. In fact, it's kind of fun. <laughs> we get to uh, do a little, little bit of power sliding and not really have to worry about too much. We do have to worry if we catch an edge, but that's, you know, that just comes with the territory. Chains would obviously get tra traction on this ice, but uh, I, think, I think it's going to be better to have more traction in the mud and deep snow versus uh, trying to worry about ice. This isn't that hilly, so that would be the only other thing, is if you have a hill that's covered in ice, uh, then I would probably push more towards having chain tires, but yeah, it's, it's, it's all personal preference at the end of the day. A little bit of, little bit of analyzing and math and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, we definitely don't go up that way. Although, that would be interesting to go up there. I don't know if this is anything. It looks like some type of... Well, basically they look like a foundation with radar turrets, maybe? It's a base or something? I don't know. Uh, not gonna worry too much about that. We gotta get rid... or get around this, uh, rock field. But again, still in, in, uh... I'll, I'm going to call it two-wheel drive. I know it's not two-wheel drive. Uh, but I guess it's standard. You can kind of you can kind of see here where all six tires are spinning except they're not there's no differential locks, so uh, they kind of spin independently of each other and yeah, it doesn't quite work great for uh, mudding, but it, it does still work. So got to be careful. Uh, let's go this way. Go right to our marker. 
Whee! This, <laughs> this actually becomes fun once you have uh, the ability to, to do these things. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I was trying to trying to be cool and do a nice long power slide. And it just didn't quite work. Alright, we're gonna catch. That's that's what I was nervous about. We almost rolled it there, so. Uh, yeah, don't goof around like that, guys. It, it's bad. In fact, uh, let's hopefully... Uh, I'm going to detach the trailer. We're going to try to get the truck out. Um, crap. Come on. Yeah, that, that tanker isn't really going to help us at all. See if we can go back. All right. Well, there there goes to show that you shouldn't uh, goof around on ice. Um, I I knew I was gonna break through it. I didn't expect to uh, to be completely stuck. So uh, let's go back to the garage and grab a rescue vehicle. There's so many tasks on this map. It's crazy. Ah. Uh, yeah, you know what? Here we go. Let's let's get the big boy out. Let's get rid of the logging. We don't need logging. Um, do I want a crane? No. Flatbed. Does that make sense? Mm. I mean, it's a fire tank. Wouldn't that be nice if it was fuel instead? I mean, I guess that's a fuel tank, so. 476. That's mobile. Huh. Maybe this would have been a better idea to take this. Although I wish they would have made it fit better on the truck and, you know, did something like this where it looks like it belongs on the truck because hauling water is pointless. Uh, we have the fuel, so let's just do this. Let's leave the garage. We can use it, hopefully, to do some tasks, maybe. Wow. Yeah, I forgot how much slower it is versus the uh, the dairy. It's also a lot wider. <clears throat> I'm hoping this could get the dairy out because we're on ice. Maybe I should have switched to chains. Ooh, well we're gonna have to fight to figure this out. We may uh, we may have to come back for chains to be able to get grip. I guess we'll, we'll find out. That's uh, that's the joys of uh, playing on new maps and figuring things out, right? And then also, I want to kind of pay attention more to uh, more to the lines of how we get down here easily. I think we can just go straight off here. It's not too bad. Oh, there's a nice, nice sized rock there. But yeah, definitely, definitely have to avoid that ice. That was, that was my fault. I was, I was being dumb, trying to be cool, trying to power steer things like this. I'm doing it again. I'm going to hit one of these. Although this doesn't seem to... Eh, it still does it a little bit. Does it a little bit, but not too much. And you can tell this, this vehicle is much heavier. It was breaking up chunks of ice out of that snow. that ice, no problem. Okay, so in the yard, that little ice, that light blue ice, it's, it's not much of an issue. 
uh, but it definitely is in these bigger trucks, so. Which I should have known. I should have known. I was, uh, I was having too much fun. Let my guard down. But the good news is, is we're only, we're only like two or three minutes away. It's, it's nothing bad. Should be able to bounce over this. And look, there's our, uh, <laughs> there's where we're stuck. Alright, let's not... I don't think this ice breaks through all the way, I think it's just... Yeah, they're just chunks of ice on top of ice, so... They just make it a little bit harder to get through it. Um, what's the best route through here? Like I said, you can easily see the crap that I fell through. I think this is safe. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You've fallen a little bit, but it's pretty safe. I really hope we don't need chain tires. That should be good there. Yeah, I was a little worried about that. Let's turn on the dairy. Come on. Help me out here. Oh, guys, I think chain tires, chain tires are gonna be a necessity. We, looks like we can get this out. Yeah, we're, we're good there. But I think... I think we're gonna need chains on a rescue. So we need to come up with a rescue vehicle. Okay, and this we should just be able to yank through. Even if it tips over. Is it going to step over? Nope, we're good. Alright, so. Oh, cool. The trailers apparently have brakes. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and refill. And uh, we're going to skip to morning. I'm glad the uh, I'm glad the skipping to morning doesn't progress through the hours as if you were letting your truck idle for that long. Uh oh no, we gotta go. Let's go this way. It is showing that there is a trail here and we'll come up behind. I'm not really doing this on purpose. Uh where was that trail? We'll, we'll look at it as we drive by and see if it's worth uh, trying to attempt. I mean, I don't see a trailer. It's got to be straight up this way. Let's go for it. We're in the dairy. We've got plenty of trees to go around to winch off of, so we get a little stuck. Yeah, you can just you can just kind of make out. Really? So. Come on, there we go. Oh, that was a that was an awkward little spot. Thought maybe it was a uh, rock or something that's buried under the snow, but it doesn't seem to be. It looked like it was just mud. So, 
Alright. Uh, yeah, we can keep going straight, and then we'll be right there. That was a pretty decent shortcut. Not too bad. It helps having the trees to winch on. Where is the... nope. Oh. I thought that was the road. Nope, the road's way up there by the power lines. I should, uh, I should try bringing the, the, uh, Macedon through here. And seeing, seeing how well it does. Both vehicles are 8x8, so... Alright, where are we? There we are. Uh, let's go back into auto before we break our differential. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to put it over that. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Alright, that should be plenty to get this thing uprighted. the engine, change trucks, fire that one up, and off we go. Alright, let's finally get this upgrade. It should have been how we ended the last episode, but unfortunately, I still don't know how to drive. Um, this vehicle is very top heavy too, so it's kind of a downside with rock climbing slash rock crawling. I really should call it rock crawling. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, we got a raised suspension for... Isn't that what we got last time? Oh, it's a tune, custom tune suspension. All right, they're really pushing this uh, Ford F750. Can we uh, can we even buy that? Let's let's actually take a quick detour. Uh, truck store. It is a scout vehicle, I believe. Uh, where is it? It's a big old Ford. There it is. Truck is not available. It is a DLC. It's a DLC, but it says it's not available in Eurasia. Explore the region to find it. Not available. I wonder if you can get... You know what? I'm going to take a quick jump. Um, global map. Go back to Alaska. Look at all these trailers. <clears throat> I want to see if you can buy it. It seems like you could buy the Ford here. Explore the world to unlock this truck. Do we not have... Hold on, let's go to an actual DLC truck. Yeah, I know, this is, this is locked because I have not bought it. I didn't realize... Well, they've actually started... There's the Apache. That's the equivalent to the Ford. I might have to do a little bit of digging. If you guys know where I find this... Let me know, because did I... Did I miss a vehicle? Um... Let me bust out... I'm gonna bust out the Chevy because I have to leave the garage in order to pull up this map to see. No, two out of two vehicles. Ah. Uh... 
okay, okay. No. I don't know where it is. Let me guys, let me, let me, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know where the Ford 750 is. Just, just tell me the region. <laughs> or even, I suppose you could tell me the map and I'll, I'll find it from there, but, um. Yeah, anyways, let's get back to, uh, Russia. Because that is where the Kola Peninsula is, so it's, it's kind of strange that they did two Russias. Not sure why they, why they did that, but. Let's get back here and yeah, I suppose we'll we'll jump back in the yard. We'll head back down the mountain. We'll grab the radar. Maybe we'll refuel it. We do have we do have the other vehicles here. Uh, there isn't. Yeah, let's just go back back the way that we came. Very, very carefully though, because we're <laughs> surrounded by giant boulders. And the last thing I want to do is roll it over. No attachment points, are you kidding me? Alright, well, Derry. Let's see. Let's see how you do. I was, I was even being careful that time. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just drive up there, winch onto it. Ooh, can I get up here? They so conveniently put boulders here to make me lose traction. Come on. Yeah, let's get that one out of the way. Ooh. That hurt just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the dairy is going to get up here. Come on. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Get up there. The problem is I can't get... I can't get the front tire up over that lip. They definitely put uh, some rocks in the right place. And I go way around. Nope. Can I? Can I? Come on. You almost want to go up there. All right, let's uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, we will just recover the the yar and we will start over, which is a little unfortunate. Actually, it's a lot unfortunate. I wonder, can I? I won't be able to. I won't be able to activate the radar using this rig, can I? Can I actually attach this to this rig? I'm pretty sure it's gotta be a... a scout. Let's go... first of all, let's go back into auto. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely has to be scout that pulls it. And we cannot activate it. So let's uh let's continue in this direction. We're gonna see oh yeah it does it is a military base. Look at that. Maybe I saw the air anti-aircraft guns or something. <laughs> I don't know. Those look exactly like turrets. Um Let's try not to crash as I'm looking at the the surrounding area. It's pretty beautiful though, if you, if you actually take the time to look at it. Alright. Where oh where oh where can we get down? That looks promising. It's promising, but yeah, we're gonna go down and to the left. Not 100% sure how this ice under here is going to fare. It looks like it is. Yeah, it is the dynamic ice. Let's try to stay on the shoulder as much as we can. Stay out of the deep stuff. really can't say there's much over here. Oh, whatever. Don't tell me that. I'm driving in a straight line with snow. There's no reason why my differential would be overheating. And I'm going pretty slow to boot, so. Uh, there are roads over here. There is a task as well, so. All right, well, let's jump in the R. Oh, actually, let's jump back to the dairy. Let's turn it off. Jump in the R. We're going to uh, recover. We're going to leave the garage. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's change the tires. Remove cargo. Uh, go to customize tires. We are getting. Oh no. Um Yeah, we're we're going to go with this tire. Why not? Average excellent excellent. This is apparently a better tire than this tire. But is it I don't know. Let's find out. I definitely like the look of that tire better. It looks a lot more aggressive. I mean, all these tires are basically the same, except for except for this one. All right, you know what? Let's go for it. Is that the same? That is not the same. Okay. Let's see how well this tire does. All right. I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Dumb question. Uh, can I sneak through there? Maybe. Let's do something different. <laughs> Instead of doing the same thing that we did. Let's turn our all-wheel drive on. And let's hope I can sneak through here. I'm gonna guess though at this rate that it's not going to be faster than going around and taking the road to our normal spot where we go in. But that's okay. That's fine. Um, it's all about exploring new things. And new things means... How the heck do we get around here? This thing is very tippy. Go nice and slow. And then got it. At <laughs> the last second. Alright, yeah, that didn't really give us that much of a much of a head start, so. Oof. 
Oh, oh no. Alright. You know what? Let's uh let's try that again. Oh. I tried being funny and jumping that snow, and then I ended up eating it. <laughs> Alright. This is the bad thing. This is the bad thing about chains, is just slide a lot on ice. Or not having chains. It's also the issue with speed. Remember, speed kills. I still don't know if they're talking about the drug or just in general. Oh. I just realized this game is using about 70% of my GPU. Which is a 3080 Ti. Now we're down to 50. Huh. Yeah, so we're between 60 and 70. Now we're back down to 50. I think it's because we're going slower. Once I start picking up speed. No, no, okay, now we're about down to 50. Uh oh. <laughs> Stop looking off screen. This is why you don't text and drive. Alright. Let's let's try to get one area scanned this this episode, because this is uh this is pretty bad. We did get one upgrade, so that was uh that's worth noting. Okay, slow down a bit. Break over this stuff. I mean, I really could have some fun. If we were goofing around, put the highway transmission back in. Although, I think this is the highway transmission, which would explain our speed. But yeah, you just get going as fast as you can and then hit one of those little ice ramps. Could, could have some fun. Could be able to traverse this fine. Way out this way. Nope, let's, let's go for the ice. It snows a little bit deeper than I thought it was. Try to get some grip on this, uh, this shoulder. All right, and yeah, we're just gonna slide. So the scout vehicles can go over this with no problem. We have to get way over there, though. Well, let's shoot for that point. Why did it disappear? It disappeared on me. Sorry. It's not important. I will kind of make my way over here anyway. Okay, so I definitely have a lot more incidents when it comes to not having chain tires on the vehicles, especially on the ice. Uh, but that's that's my own that's my own making. I uh yeah. Try to go too fast. Try to stop way too late. And yeah. It's uh it's one of those things. Did we come through here yet? I don't think we did. That's a pretty rough Pretty rough trail there, but let's let's go up this way. There are some small trees that we can attach to, and there is one laying in the middle of the road there, so we should be able to pull our way through if it would pick one in front of us. Hmm. 
in the name of just trying to get through here faster. Nope. Nope. There we go. That one's not great. We are also going really slow. Um, yeah, that doesn't really help us at all. I think this might be the case of it's better to be on the trail than off the trail. This also may be the case of it was better to go around than to try to cut through these trails. Did I read these tires wrong? I feel like I should be doing better than this. There we go. Of course, once we get to the tree that we can winch onto, we take off. Story of my life in this game. Story of my life. Alright, let's see, uh, see where we need to go. Um, yeah, I gotta go left. Hard left. Looks like we fall this river down. I'm gonna assume because we're light, we're not gonna fall through. I really hope that's the case. We do have a snorkel. We can sneak through here pretty quick. The heavier trucks are going to have an issue. For sure. Kind of fell through there. Um, we got to get to here. Oh. I feel like that almost uh, sunk us. Let's mow these trees over. Get them out of our way. Just sitting there hiding. All right, uh, let's stop the engine, change the trucks. That's already been detached. Let's get this truck out of the way. That's, that's a good spot for it. Come on, there we go. Whoops. That's true. Activate radar and scan. All right, perfect. Well, we at least got one scan done. I mean. <laughs> We might be able to get two. 
Ooh, we got another upgrade. Um, and it's way over there on top of the mountain. We still have not. Okay, so we're still not on this edge here. So let's make our way over there and try to upgrade or try to uh, scan again. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is we are going to do a little mini road train. Uh, change trucks. We're going to have the dairy fall or lead. And the radar and scout are going to uh, follow. They don't really have a choice. Yeah, this, this kind of seems to be the best route. Dang, we should go up. Uh, yeah, let's let's go up this trail. I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine, as long as I don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Which I can't guarantee you, so I uh, don't have any expectations that I'm going to do stuff smartly. Uh, like turn on our lights, because that, uh, that helps out a little bit. We go nice and slow up this hill. Yeah, this, this would have been a fight in the scout, so... I'm kind of glad we went this route. Man, this is not, this is not easy terrain to get around. I may want to second guess the way that I'm I'm doing this map. I think it might be better to do the task as I find them. Because right now, I'm not gonna lie, I have been driving around for three episodes now. This is our third. Now this is yeah this is the third episode. Uh, just trying to get this map unlocked. Well we'll say two and a half. I will say two and a half. I'm gonna avoid that valley there. And yeah, we're just gonna go up and over the hill. I wonder if now's a good time to scan. Uh let's let's scan once we get over to the blinking light or marker that we have. There's definitely something over there. In there. They uh they did not go easy on us on this uh this map. Right, should you know what? I'm gonna scan here. How much oh <laughs> yay. I was just questioning how much fuel do we have in that? Um, so the source will be the roof rack and the target will be that. Okay, we are uh, almost out of fuel now. That's okay. Let's stand back and let this scan. Yay. Nothing of great importance. Awesome. All right. Well, we found the corner. Uh, we also found the gateway to the next map. I, I draw Eidman. How do you pronounce that? Imindra? Imindra. Uh, so it looks like we have a major road going this way or what's 
may be classified as a major road in this on this map. We'll, we'll call it a minor road. Um, oh, we've got oh that was the upgrade we found last time. You've got trails way over here. Yeah, I I have this strange feeling that we're probably going to want to do some of these maps or do some of these uh these tasks as we find them. I mean, there is a lot of them too. A lot. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess with with that involved, what do we have here? We have. Is that the Ford? That's not the Ford. Maybe it's called Foreigner. That would make the F Ford seven fifty a Foreigner. Um, maybe I answered my own question, guys. Uh, I'm going to take a nap and wake up in the morning and go see what that's all about. And I think I'm going to do it in the dairy. Let's just go ahead and put all of our eggs in one basket and go for it. And try to squeeze through here. Is that the F450? That is the F450. Or 750, sorry. What do I gotta do? I answered my own question. There is the foreign tourist. He really wants to see some live history. End up almost going under the ice. Will you help me pull him out? Will you help? Yeah, will you help me pull him out? That seems weird because I'm the only person here. I will make it worth your time. You better. Um, let's accept this. Start tracking it. Where do we have to take it? We got to take you to the camp. Which is way over here. Ugh. Okay, well, you know what? Let's do it. Um million dollar question is what do I do I think I think we leave the yar where it is yeah I think we leave the yar where it is we're gonna throw this in reverse catch a winch we are gonna yank you out We're just going to follow the exact same path that we took to get in here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Come on. What? Why are you trying to climb the tree? Stop trying to climb the tree. Trees are not climbable in this game. There we go. Maybe I can turn now. There we go. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna do this. Can we get this back end to turn? Come on. There you go, Wayne. Okay. And we can rehook back up to the truck. Alright. Squeeze it through this gap is going to be fun. There we go. Oh, now we're stuck again. Can somebody get me a chainsaw, please? Alright. Okay, we're through. We're 
not out of the woods yet. I feel like this land bridge here would have been a nice uh, alternative to trying to drive through the ice. Him turned around. Which way do we gotta go? We gotta go to the camp, so I think what we need to do uh, is go off this way and go to here. Do I have enough fuel for this? I will in a second. Let's refuel. Uh, nope. Nope. The utility mounts. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the source... No. I had that right. What was I doing? The dairy... I think we take the Yars gas. Take the Ford's gas. I think we take this gas. Let's jump into the yard. Let's refill that with the the rest of the gas on the Ford. So the yard is filled, we can get that back to safety, hopefully, with the trailer. Uh, let's change trucks. Oh, let's change trucks. We're gonna back this up and just yank the Ford. In the right direction. These ports never want to do what they're told. There we go. This thing is a mammoth. Scout vehicle. I still can't get it. I still can't winch onto the front of it. <laughs> you won't even turn. Right, tell me that will be enough to get to the front. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Alright, we are going that way. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like this route may be easier. Maybe. Really gotta, we gotta hug the shoulder. Definitely going to be a slow grind to get this truck over here. No, I went too far. I hate when that happens. And I went too far by like a foot and a half. Let's 
Let's just winch the truck closer. Drop that off there. Hope I didn't go too far again. Oh. Come on. I really really get annoyed with the whole way they like to do that. I wish the the go-to's were trucks and vehicles first. Wow. We may need to get on since all the ground. I'm gonna go left. Ah, uh, this looks like it's all grossness. Gonna go around every single point on the map first. You're saying the Ford is heavier than I am? Oh, come on, where is my? Uh, we're just gonna have to uh oh, that's not even working. We're just gonna have to inch this thing. Definitely need all of them. Yeah, this is where using a mouse and a keyboard comes in very handy. Mastodon would have been a better choice. Maybe driving it around the uh, the long way would have been the better choice. I did not expect this to be this hard to get through here. If I go inside the cab. I can actually pick trees that will hold me. Oh, we are nowhere near. Getting the actual Ford out. And the Ford's gonna end up hitting that Let's get the dairy on solid land. Maybe wedged behind a tree. We seem to be really good at doing that.
I want a tree that will help me aim. That tree right there. There we go, and then at there, there, and yank. Now I can use the winch to get us out of this uh, pickle we're in. All right, I am now over an hour, so uh, we will continue this saga. Uh, when I come back for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a struggle, sure. And uh, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and some more to YouTube stuff that uh, everyone seems to ask at the end of their YouTube videos. I probably should ask in the beginning, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. But uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.